The Bird's Nest, originated by Cal Bird in the late 1950s, is neither a nymph nor a wingless wet, but a very subtle hybrid of the two. The hook is a 2x long nymph hook, size 12, the thread Beneki 12 volt in tobacco color, attached just back of the eye and run down to about a third of the body length, trim away the waist. The ribbing material is some bright copper wire, tied in underneath. Next. I will tie in the tailing material, um, a few barbs of lemon wood duck. In actual fact, Calbird tied a fairly heavy tail, so I'll mirror that. Uh, length is about half to three quarters of the hook shank. Just trim away the waist and run the thread to the end of the shank keeping the tail on top and the ribbing underneath the abdomen is uh, some Australian possum Simply twist it around a thread in a fairly tight noodle. Start it fairly tight and slender and then build up a taper. And then tapering it down a little. Next, simply rib with the copper wire in evenly spaced turns. Tied off and worry it free. The leg or the hackle material, some lemon wood duck again. The tips of this feather are relatively even and I'll just tie it in as such. Length is just past the bend of the hook and I'll just fold it around the entire hook, 360 degrees. Then check for an even distribution before cinching it down tight. And then trim away the waist. I want a fairly uh, spiky thorax. I'll use the same Australian possum but in this case I'll split the thread and insert you know, the desired amount Spin the bobbin holder. By doing the split thread, I get this automatic fuzzy spiky look without having to comb it out. And finish it off with a three turn rib finish. And 
and then trim away the remaining thread. That completes Cal Bird's bird's nest pattern.